So we're looking at a fitness uh, tool. This is a mace bell. So quite heavy, as you can see also with my hands. Long shaft. So two-handed mace bell. Can also be used one-handed, but it's then quite heavy, especially on the joint. If you want something lighter, with the same size, it can still be used two-handed or single-handed. You can use a polypropylene staff. There's a walking staff. As you can see, it has the walking staff. Uh, yeah, here it says, walkabout, walking staff, walking stick, even better, walking stick. And this is a cross, cross mass, well, sorry, cross max, maze bell. So those can be options, but if you want something and you want to put it in a bag, which is quite limited in size, you can look into something that's more of a scepter. So as you can compare them with the mace belts, so really, really, really a lot shorter. So it's a one-handed uh, tool. It also does not have uh, points to stick out. It has an iron core. It's also iron. It doesn't feel as nice as the round shape, but it still gives good grip because it's uh, yeah, shaped like a square. Yeah, you have some additional grip if needed, so that's good if you want to do uh, very short things. And you can use the handle, as you can see here. So there are some benefits. Being extremely compact. Also, the, the thing is, this little guy weighs as much or similar amount as this uh, big polypropylene uh, type of guy. And this guy is, of course, a lot heavier because it's also steel. So plastic is, of course, a lot lighter than steel. What gives you, let's feel it in my hands, similar weight, yes. The benefit of the walking stick is, of course, that you can also use as a walking stick. And this is more in line of a, yeah, an old type um, scepter type of uh, tool. So not so much the maze because it does not have the points, not, not a traditional maze. If you compare it with a maze bell, which is also a fitness tool, it also not has the protruding points. But as you can see the size difference here, it's a lot, lot longer. It's at least twice as long as I can imagine. And here for size comparison, the very, very light, but similarly lengthy um, walkabout stick walking stick so there you have it and then in all in times this type of uh, scepter type of tool was more of king or nobleman that they just had as being a king or uh, tapping to something or showing how they liked it or not sometimes of course also adding drama the benefit is that you have a lanyard so you can put your hand in so it won't slip out or if you have to do something with your hand for example catch your phone you still have it there that's a benefit it can also be detrimental uh, the detrimental part so is that if you want to uh, hold it somewhere else than on the ladder the ladder feels very nice i think even nicer than um, this which is a wide grippy area so you see also the grip texture here and here you see a wood texture, which also gives nice grip. But this feels quite soft, the leather part. The drawback would be that this, yeah, this is a little bit more edgy because it's square. And also the additional traction here does not help. Here you see more of the details. So very slight in the slight uh, grooves. This is completely round. Here you see the, the wood structure grooves as well. Also shots from this side to give you the impression and on the other side as well. So I put a, a walking rubber here so that you don't, if you're walking it, you're not directly damaging the plastic parts, polypropylene plastic. And here you see this is just uh, steel and then covered with leather. Hope you enjoy it. Wishing you a great day. EDC out. This is more of a fitness uh, type of video, I must say. Regardless, out.